hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's the SNM forever for the returning subscriber thank you so much keep on tuning in keep on watching as i said this youtube video we are going to bring in a lot of things and a lot a lot of things is going is on the way and is coming and you're going to see it in this channel so keep on tuning in for the new subscribers welcome welcome so today i know you're wondering why i have a towel on my head yeah so Today I want to do a video about how I do my own hair because ever since I moved here, that is quite some time ago, ever since I moved here, I like learned how to do my own hair. So I usually do my own hair because like doing hair here is very, very expensive. So I do it myself. So for those people who really want to always do their own hair you can check on this youtube video i will give you the links so first things first i've already like washed my hair my hair is fresh and the products that i use to wash my hair is gone too for those people who actually this is the only thing that is remaining of my hair but actually we are really growing so much and then here i don't know but it's gonna be okay so yeah so now i'm going to like blow dry my hair because i usually have to straighten my hair with this which i got it in a store here in germany i don't really remember because i bought it when i was really new so it has two combs when i was actually when i immediately came to germany that's when i bought it because it heating up their hairs well for us for me personally i like heating up my hair because it helps my hair when i do my hair my hair becomes more neat when it's heated up but when it's not it's a little bit like so hard you can't like you see going through the hair is so hard and it's so painful so for me i prefer heating up my own hair so yeah so we are going to start with this Yeah, so first thing I do, I tend to just like at least comb it a little bit. You see, combing it everywhere to see, okay, in the middle, not as much, but it's doable. And then, because I am doing everything on my own, I bought a comb, you know, those jelly combs that are just one, not like this one. This one is an Afro comb. This one was in a jelly comb, but it broke. So we are going to use what we have so first things you take this you point in the middle i'm going to be looking at this side because there is a mirror here which will help me like look myself because looking at myself in the camera is not as easy so i tend to like part it into two so i have two and then one at the back which is easier for me to be able to like braid my hair when it's like that so so to make sure that my my line is straight i use this shine and jam for those who know this thing works magic on your hair like it's it's just so nice Yeah, it's all right. 
This is a crochet, as you can see it, it's a crochet. And the good thing about this, for those who know the crochet, they know this crochet can open and it can close. You see, close, open, close, open. So this makes it easier for you to be able to put in the braid that you're going to use. So me, I'm using this. This, I will uh, show you the box later on. This is what I'm using. And then I'm using also this. I will show you and I will uh, link on in the description box the name of these two hairs that I'm using. It is very important if you want your this to turn out to be soft locks for you to use both of them. And I'm going to show you how you're going to first install. The first thing that you install is going to be this. And then the next is going to be this. You can either start with this or this. It's up to you, but me, I prefer starting with this. So first things first, I want them to be... So first thing, you open up your crochet. You see? You open it up because this crochet can lock itself and it can open itself. So first thing, you open up the crochet. Because it is knotless, because it is knotless, and believe you me, this style is painless when you do it as the knotless when you do it exactly how i show you it is painless so you're going to be seeing me mostly looking at this side because there's a mirror here please understand this is here i'm doing so i have to look at this side to look at the mirror basically so you open your crochet you put in your crochet over here you see like in the middle not really in the middle but in the a quarter you put it in you see as you've put it in with this hair you can leave it to swing because nothing will happen. There is, as you can see, there is a hole over here. So this hole, you open it up with your fingers and then you push in the crochet. You open the crochet. Remember, don't forget to open the crochet and then you put the hair inside there. You close the crochet. You pull it out. It is very easy no struggling then you remove the crochet but there are people who don't but for me i remove the crochet then you take your hair your hair that was hanging you remember you've put it in the quarter way of your hair so you take it open up this place put it inside here close and then drag it to the other side and then hold your natural hair and hold this other hair and pull it you see now you've locked it after locking it it is easier for you to do that. Then the next step, you take this other hair, you fluff it up, fluff it up. There is different types of hair. You can use this also. You can use really a lot of hair that I will put in the description box. It is not only this one. You can use a lot of them. So for me, I chose this one because this was the one I had in the house. So you take this. First of all, you take back your crochet. You remember? Open it. And then now, here at the bottom, put in the crochet towards the side that you want the hair to lay, to lie on. Like, if you want it this side, put in the crochet going towards that side. If you want it this side, put it going to the other side. So after you've put it, you remember you have this hair. You twist it a little bit, just a little bit like that, you see, so that you can be able to insert it inside the crochet close the crochet you see don't forget close the crochet and then pull it up and then after pulling it up you make sure okay so after you put it in make sure you do this to see how tight it is and then you roll this to the other side back and forth and remember look at this finger how it's going to that side to that side just push it push it to this finger like that you see like that you see how it's going to be like a knot like it doesn't need your natural hair you roll it you roll it once you reach to the knot where your natural hair and the extension you have tied them together pick up also the other the other part roll it and make sure you're not really you're not it's just down here. So roll both of them together until you're out of that knot. Maybe three rolls are enough, yeah? Uh -huh. Now, split, just split these two parts and then take one side. Remember, you want to so split them back again. Now take the one side again. Continue rolling it up until the end. So roll it. Uh -huh. You roll it 
gently and when you you're almost down there you pick all both of them together once again and then you roll them together roll them roll them roll them roll them roll them mm -hmm. after rolling them like that when it's at the end make sure you like roll it completely and then when you're done make sure you do this mostly to this part you see this part looks very big so you take it and then you like rub it not that much but at least rub it a bit like that so you see now it looks better but these are like locks so they will definitely not be as straight but at least when you get this yeah they're called distress locks now i remember the name they're called distress locks so again I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do two more with you. But this is going to go a little bit faster than the other one. So you open up the, the crochet. You see? Open it up. Put it in the middle. You see? Take this hook. Put it there. There. And then push it in. You see? And then put that there. Put the extension there. You close it pull it remove the crochet there are those who don't remove but for me I remove take your own natural hair put it inside the extension drag it out lock the extension after locking the extension pick up the other extensions pull them apart pull them apart and then roll it just one time to be able to before rolling it, make sure you insert this in the beginning of your hair, your natural hair there. And then put this inside here. Like so. Lock it up. Pull it out. And then remove it from the extension. Do this. See if it's okay for you. Depending on how you hold your hair. And then remember this and this and this together. Hold them together. Roll it. Roll it roll it roll it make sure you roll it well so that it depends on how you want your your locks there are people who like their locks with a lot of like left uh, like a lot of bumps and bumps but for me whichever way it's okay you roll it until you reach to the knot take them together remember don't take your natural hair your natural hair should still be left there with the extension and then roll it roll it to lock in your natural hair and the extension together you roll it roll it you see how i'm rolling it like this like this mm -hmm. When you reach at the end, make sure you roll it completely so that it can like lock on the on the extension. Roll it, roll it. When you reach there, you make sure you you rub it all together. Now, so you see, this is how eventually it has turned out to be. So we are going to do the third one, but this one now is going to be a little bit faster. And then at the end, I'm going to show you how it all came out to be. So this is the third one. Like when I'm done, because at the back, I kind of like have not started, but I'm going to do it. So I'm going to like braid this into like the matutas and then like start like this. So yeah, so let's continue with this. Remember. Point, I guess no disappointments. I'm so happy and hopefully at the end it will turn out just the way I want it to because up to now I have no complaints. I feel like it's okay. I really like, like to cut my boxes very neatly but at the back I'm sure it won't be as neat as this because I can't really see but in the front for sure I can assure you that I have really liked the outcome of how it has turned out to be. So I am going to continue this video up until I finish it and then I'm going to show you how it looks like 
when I'm done. So hopefully you will copy assist and let's twin. Let us all twin. That is it for now. So I will see you after God knows how many hours of me finishing up at the back and then I will show you the end results.